Hey guys, how you doing? This is Will Moore with Somewhere in America again, and I know that I didn't do a an on location uh, uh, video this week. Um, my computer was down. Um, I just got everything back up, but I wanted to get something out for today and something real quick. Um, I was out doing some street photography, and when I was out, um, I was out at night, and I came across this particular real cool building right here. It's kind of a pub, kind of a restaurant, and I thought what I'd do is I would go ahead and show you guys how I edit long exposures. Once again, I've done tutorials on it before, but you know what? I thought this would be kind of like a fun thing to do, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing I want to do is that uh, because it's a shot in a JPEG, uh, I don't have options right here with... Uh, with doing anything as far as the uh, the white balance is concerned but I can come over here to my little picker find a good neutral area and bam look that's right there that would be the way it would look right out of camera okay so right away let's go ahead and warm this up just a little bit more alright I like that right there and let me go ahead and bring down the highlights alright and we're not gonna be exposing too much and bring up the shadows I'm going to hold down the Alt key until I get some pixels. Or better yet, another way is to do it is that when you start seeing that this right here on the histogram start hitting that wall, then you know exactly that you, you're into your white. See, that's too much white right there. So I want to back, back back on that. All right, let's go ahead and bring down. And We got already got some darks. So let me bring the, the blacks in a little bit more. Okay, and a little bit of clarity. That's about it. And I'm going to go to the tone and curve and I'll make this medium. All right. Now, let's go ahead and do the lens correction right here. I'm going to re remove chromatic aberration, a profile correction. The lens is not showing up primarily because, guess what? It's a JPEG. So all that information is gone. So I'm going to go to Sigma and I'm going to do uh, 12 to 24. All right. I'm also going to go down here to transform and I'm going to go and hit auto and that's going to correct it great 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 looking good already um, let me go here to the uh, hue saturation and luminance and I'm going to pull back on some of this yellow that's in there and some of the orange as well exposes a lot of the red but I'm gonna pull back on a little bit of it a little back up there we go a little bit of the red as well not too much just enough okay some real 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 vibrant colors in this let me come up here back here to the basic and I'm gonna pull back some of this um, I'm gonna pull back some of this saturation just a little bit not too much and a little bit of the vibrance okay I want that looking really really uh, regular now I'm gonna show you guys something different now if you've been following my tutorials you would know that um, I had I'd introduced and I told you guys about Nick Pro now remember back in the day you used to have to buy Nick Pro. Nick Pro cost like about 140 some dollars or whatever. But guess what? Google bought it. And when Google bought it, Google just decided to guess what? Go ahead and make it available to everybody. So 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 sad, so sorry that those who pay for it, they pay for it. But if you wait it, guess what? You now got Google Pro for free. So I like to go ahead and I'm gonna go into Color Effects Pro. And that's gonna bring up everything it's going to create another um, image right here this is the image is going to work because Google Effects Pro it work does work non-destructive which I like okay so it brought up brilliance and warmth which I really really want brings brilliance and warmth so I'm gonna go ahead and make this just a little bit more warmer uh, let me see if I go to cool not make this a little bit more warmer then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna add a filter every time you get ready to add a filter you gotta put add a filter if you don't it'll the filter that you're working with that previous one it'll click off of it so you don't want that to happen something that I love in Nick Pro is detail extractor now that's a bit much for me I don't need that much so I'm gonna back off and bring it down to about maybe maybe about 11 between 11 and 15 uh, the contrast I'm gonna go on the contrast I'm gonna go up a little bit because I'm liking that darkness there and as far as the saturation just a little bit of saturation okay I like what I got there nothing else I'm gonna hit save and it's gonna take me right back on into Lightroom once again because I've done what I wanted to do right there I like to go into that I like to go into that because what it does is that it just gives all those colors a nice little boost look at that right there close up people are sitting out there um, everything is I mean look at all the look at the clarity I'm telling you guys I would you know what I can shoot with anything but I'm telling you I love love 
the Sony mirrorless cameras. I'm telling you, any mir any mirrorless camera, but I love Sony because that's what I'm shooting with right now. So I'm going to do some more post-processing. Just a little bit, just a little touch. I'm bring down the highlights a little bit, bring up the shadows. Go ahead with the whites, bring back some of the whites in there. And on the blacks, give it just a little bit more black. There we go. Now, um, I'm going to do an overall adding. No, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, do a global on the clarity. I'm going to do some selective clarity. So I already got it up there, right? About 43. I got my brush. Whenever I'm do, using my brush, you want to keep your, I keep my brush, keep the feathering up, keep the flow down to about maybe 63, between 63 and 70, and my density about 85, okay? So I'm going to go in particular areas like where the flags are here, uh, where the, the sign is here, certain areas right there, just to bring out just a little bit of clarity, something in the trees maybe over here, uh, come over down here where the people are, just a little bit area, this manhole, I definitely want to get that, let's bring out some of these bricks, and just a little, the bridge sign over here, and the Guinness, where the beer is, just a little bit, right over here where some of this is, and that looks great. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a new brush. I'm going to grab a new brush. And I'm going to go into some exposure. And just add just a little bit of exposure. And a little bit of temperature. And I'm going to go where these, where these lights are. And just go ahead and just bring out some of the light. Make this a little bit brighter. And this is a good way of showing you guys how to do architectural um all these lights look at this wow i'm gonna bring some of that streak right on over there there we go look at that just turn on all the lights turn on all the lights all right now that's looking really nice let's go up here and add some light right about here and i like that right there so let me show you guys what i just did by doing that Here's the, uh, all right, let's hit done. Here's the before. All right, here, I'm sorry. Here's the before, and here's the after. Before, look at that. Somebody paid the power bill. I love it. <laughs> Somebody paid the electric bill. So that's before, after, before, after. Great. Okay, now I want to bring the street out a little bit more. So I'm going to grab a, a graduated filter. Hold down the shift because I want to come straight up. And I know this is a long exposure, so I'm going to go the opposite way because I want to give some contrast to that. I'm going to make that a little bit blue and just a little darkness right there. Bring that down just a little bit. Bring it up some more. Bring a little bit more blue there. Right about there. Okay, and let's add some clarity. Just a little bit of clarity in the road. Give it some body. All right, guys. Hey, I'm liking the way this looks. It's looking pretty cool. Let's do a little bit more overall on the clarity. Let me see. Make sure it's not too much. I'm liking. See, I'm introducing to some noise. So let me go ahead down here and drop down to my detail. And let's get some. Let's get rid of some of this noise. Noise in the color. Noise in contrast. Do a little more smoothing. Let's take a look at it again. All right, and it's clear. Taking its time. Yep. Getting rid of some of that noise. I don't mind too much grain. It's all it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Come down to the effects. I'm going to do color priority and give this just a little bit vignetting. And um, let's come on. Let's make this a little bit more panel right now. Actually, no, I don't want to mess with it because I like what I'm looking at right here. And just bring this in maybe just a little bit, not too much. Um, I'm going to make sure that this is pretty much a nice little straight angle there. Okay, hey guys, that is our, let me see, that's before, and this is after. This, this is how, this is where we came from right here. Let me reset this, took it all the way back, and let me hold down the control, hit C. That'll put these both side by side, and it's loading. There you go, look at that right there. That's our before, and that's our after. What looks more appetizing? I think I want to go here. And, and eat and maybe drink versus going to this dull place right here. <laughs> so anyway, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial right here. Um, I really enjoyed it. Other than that, hey, I'm going to be out on the streets somewhere in America 
trying to get to a particular place. I got an interview coming up with one of my fellow photographers that I really want to introduce you guys. Also, I talked to you guys about, uh, check out last week's episode where I took you into my studio and showed you all those that's been dying to know how I do portraiture or whatever. You got a chance to see it, so go right ahead and take a look at it. Make sure you, all you guys give two thumbs up. No like, no, no dislikes, guys. Give me likes up, give me likes up. And also, get your friends to subscribe. If you get your friends to subscribe, guess what? I'm giving away something. I'm telling you what I'm giving away. If you get your friends to subscribe, I am giving away a free print, any print of your choice. Go to my website, uh, willmorephotography.com, and you choose anything you want, and the print is yours. I will send it to you via WeTransfer, which is a high-res uh, way of sending images through the email. You could take it, save it print it out it'll be it'll be it'll be signed have my signature on it or have my watermark or whatever you take it print it out put it up on your um your wall or whatever if you don't want that then guess what you have your second choice of choosing one of my raw images to go ahead and develop send it back to me let me see how you guys did on it and we'll talk about it other than that god bless guys as i always say after the end of every podcast if you can't say anything nice you know what to do stick a in your what mouth and you know what a shoe and keep it moving god bless talk with y'all later